Hey everyone, and welcome back to Malt Muser Whiskey Reviews. I am Eric. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the Glendronic 15 Revival. I've been spending some time with this dram recently, and uh, I'm ready to give you a nose taste finish review. I'll tell you a little bit about the value, give you my final thoughts and a final score, and leave you with a malt musing as always. But first, a bit about Glendronic and the 15-year-old revival. So, uh, Glendronic Highland Distillery, well known for their sherried scotches. And this 15-year-old revival uh, is kind of in the middle of their core range. Uh, this one in specific was discontinued in 2015. Um, they essentially ran out of stock of it and uh, just came back on the market in late 2018. Um, this one in particular is matured in both uh, Pedro Jimenez and Oloroso Sherry casks from Spain. It is 46% ABV, non-chill filtered, and natural color. So all great things um, so far. We'll take a peek here at the bottle. This is what the bottle looks like. Uh, it does say explicitly on here um, that it's aged, you know, in the different sherry casks. Uh, somewhat annoyingly, it doesn't actually say here on the bottle that it is unchill filtered in natural color. It only says it on the tube, which, you know, if you were on looking for a bottle of this and they didn't have it in a tube, you know um, that important information. Um, a bit more info, info on the back about Glendronic itself. I'll share just a little bit. Uh, here's what they say. Deep in the cast Highland Hills, East, East Highland Hills, the Glendronic Distillery has been quietly perfecting Sherrywood maturation since 1826. Our founder, James Allardyce, built his distillery in the Forgue Valley and named it Glendronic, which means Valley of the Brambles in Scots Gaelic. Here he discovered the rich depths of Sherrywood maturation, marrying Scottish spirit to Spanish cask. Cool, cool. So that's the rundown on Glendronic and the 15 Allardyce, or pardon me, the 15 Revival. Uh, let's get into it. So um, I've actually have some port already here in the Glencairn glass. Um, it's been sitting here patiently with the coin on top from uh, my good friend Alan at The Whiskey Friend. If you are not familiar with his channel, I highly recommend checking it out. He does great whiskey reviews. And we've been keeping uh, this nose nice and concentrated. So let's see what we get now. Rich fruit on the nose. It's sweet. Sweet like, um, I wanna say kind of fresh red fruits, but there's also dark, dark fruit too. So we're thinking a range of apple, strawberry, going into kind of a plum, blackberry, currant. This is a non-peated whiskey, but there's just a little bit of a, a little bit of a kind of an ashy smokiness to it almost like a nuttiness as well. Hmm. It smells rich, a little bit of brown sugar. This has not spent any time in bourbon casks, so I can't imagine we're gonna get too many of those notes. It is mostly just a fruit bomb. Little bit of an alcohol bite too. Here's a look at that color. That is what we're looking at. All right. Time to give this a taste, y'all. Let's launch it. Really nice, medium bodied mouthfeel, sticky oily. Right away you're getting a lot of that fruit that we got off the nose. No real big surprises here. Red fruits, dark fruits. As it develops, a little bit of a tannic niche, a little bit of an ashiness, which we also noticed a bit on the nose. 
notes of vanilla, slight almond note, and drying. Um, it dries actually pretty quick as it goes into the finish here. Sweetness is tamed a bit. Ooh, we're left with like a slight dark cocoa note. Little bit of that smokiness, a little bit of like a mint. It's right between a mint and, and a bit of alcohol. Um, mm. You're really left with a nice kind of sweet creaminess in the finish, but yeah, just a little bit of that kind of minty alcohol bite too. Okay. 46% ABV, so we will put some water on this, see what else we get. I'm gonna do just about a teaspoon of water here. Okay. Mm, the addition of water, brown sugar coming through a bit more now, baking spice. A little bit more spice now on the nose. Fruitiness is still dominant though. It's just got a, it's got a really nice nose. It's not in super complex, but it smells like it's you know well aged. These these flavors are deep and rich. A little bit of vanilla now. Hmm. Yeah, I am picking up more kind of classic bourbon notes now with the addition of water, which is interesting because as we said, it is not aged at all in bourbon. Um, maybe these are just from those oak casks. That alcohol note is gone. Tobacco now too. I actually think this is a little more interesting on the nose with water. Okay, here we go. I think one teaspoon of water was just about right here. I think a little more, this would really thin out. It still maintained a really nice body. Still pretty sticky. It's got that kind of, it's not overly viscous, but definitely you can tell this has had some age to it. Fruit notes again, strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, blueberry, just all sorts of that. A um, little bit of apple, a little bit of pear. Um, plum, dark, kind of dark currant, blackberry. It's not tart, but those influences of those berry notes are there. Finish is still fades into kind of a drying finish, and then you get this pop of a couple sweet notes. It's like slightly creamy vanilla, a little bit of a, hmm, just a little bit of like that wood, that wood oaky char note in it too. Um, I don't wanna give you the wrong impression that this is a smoky whiskey, it's not, but these, it's just these slight little notes you pick up in the background when you spend some time with this one, um, which I have, this has been open for a bit now, so I've been letting oxygen really work its magic, which I think was a good call on this one. It was a little tight when I originally opened it. And then again, there in the finish, that, that minty alcohol note we had, with the, uh, when we tried it neat, it's gone. So I really do think that the additional water on this one is, has worked pretty well. Okay, one more look. Here is the bottle, Glendronic 15. This is the tube. So as far as price goes, a bottle of Glendronic 15 Revival is about $100, which for a 15-year-old whiskey is a little bit more on the expensive side. Glendronic, um, in general, 2019 and 2020 has seen the prices of their stuff go up pretty significantly, especially their older stuff. The 18-hour dice, which I've reviewed earlier, the 21-year-old Parliament. Um, so in the Glendronic price range, 100 bucks is about right. Um, I think that this is a solid buy at a hundred, um, maybe slightly a little bit on the expensive side. You'd like to see this in like a 85 to $90 range maybe, but 
I don't think you're you're going uh, um, too over the top in that hundred bucks. Mostly because this has got the kind of presentation you want from a whiskey. 46% ABV. It has a little bit more alcohol than that 40% minimum, which means you're getting some more flavor out of it. Non-chill filtered, so the body is kept intact. And it's got natural color, so you know what you're looking at. And the presentation is all natural. So this re-release of the, of the Glendronic 15, um, going into my final thoughts, I think this is a really good whiskey. Uh, it's a sherry bomb for sure. So if you're into sherry whiskey, that Pedro Jimenez and Oloroso uh, aging of 15 years on this, you're getting that sweetness from the Oloroso, you're getting that, or pardon me, from the Pedro Jimenez, you're getting that kind of darker fruit, slightly tannic note from the Oloroso. I think this is working pretty well. It is a little bit, it's got a little bit of a bite, maybe a little bit more than you'd expect. And so I think that alcohol note does stick out a little bit. Um, but at 100 bucks, spending some time with this one, I think you're going to be pleasantly rewarded. And so I think this is one you should readily seek. My final score on the Glendronic 15 Revival is going to be a 4 out of 5, which is I recommend buying a bottle. Okay, y'all. So keep your eyes open uh, the next time you're out hunting. If you're looking for a good sherry whiskey, Glendronic 15 Revival might be the one for you. And with that, I will send you over to your Malt Musing, and we will catch you next time here on Malt Muser Whiskey Reviews. Cheers, y'all.